Hi right, friends, today we'll be taking care of the ammo UI. Right now we can shoot and then we can reload and ammo gets set up, but the UI in the bottom right doesn't get updated. Should be quite easy to fix. So let's go to our weapon shooting and you can see whenever we reload or shoot uh, for a fact, we just, well, when we shoot, we do use ammo right here, but when we reload, we actually don't use ammo, we just add or decrease the primary current ammo. So first we have to change that. So whenever we actually use ammo, we use this use ammo function because we're going to connect this to the UI and it's going to work quite nicely. Uh, we made use ammo last time or the time before, I'm not sure. And it basically does the same thing, but a bit better. So let's fix it in reloading. Let's go to reload. Let's go to our primary if statement. And down here, whenever we say primary current ammo uh, plus equals ammo to reload and primary current ammo storage minus equals uh, ammo to reload, we can actually just say use ammo. And then we have to give it the slot, which is the slot uh, from the function condition right there. And then we also have to say how much current ammo we used. Now, in this case, we did not use any ammo, so zero, or we did not use any ammo from the magazine but we did use the ammo from the current storage. So we just have to say ammo to reload. Now we have a function for using ammo, but we don't have one for adding ammo. Uh, we can actually delete this one, the current ammo storage one. It should work the same, but we will have to create a new one for add ammo. So I'll just collapse that real quickly and create a private void add ammo. And we're going to set it up pretty much the same way. So int slot and then int current ammo added. And then also, also an int for current stored ammo added. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing as we did in the uh, use ammo. So I'll just go ahead and copy the use ammo function right there and then paste it in there. I'll just collapse the secondary statement and let's take care of this one first. So whenever we say uh, if primary current ammo is less or equal than zero, we actually don't need this because now we're adding ammo and the check-in will happen elsewhere. And we can actually remove the else statement as well. So we'll just have these two lines. Just like that, let's align it. And whenever we say minus equals, we actually want to say plus equals because this time we're adding ammo. And instead of saying current ammo used, we just say current ammo added and current stored ammo used is actually current stored ammo added. We basically want to do the same thing here. So let's delete the else and the if. And let's align these lines because I hate it when they're not aligned. Again, instead of just saying minus equals, we'll say plus equals. And instead of... Uh, just saying used, I'll say added. So now we can actually add ammo in here and let's use that function in a reload. So whenever we reload, we add ammo into our primary current ammo uh, magazine here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and say uh, add ammo. We'll give it the slot and then the amount of current ammo we add, which is ammo to reload and a zero for the stored uh, ammo. And now we can delete this uh, function right here. And all we have to do is just copy this, these two lines and put them into the secondary statement here. So uh, instead of saying secondary current ammo and secondary current ammo storage, uh, we'll just paste this in and it should work because we're using the slot and we don't have to change anything else. Okay, that's pretty much it for the reload function. Now we just got to uh, put some uh, UI updating into these two functions and we'll have everything set up. So let's go over to our player HUD and you can see we have a update weapon UI uh, thingy here, which uses the weapon UI update info. And if you go there, you can see that it just updates the text and the sprite. Now we don't want to update the sprite each time we use ammo. So we're going to create a new public void update ammo UI and inside we're just going to take a int magazine size and a int for stored ammo just like that okay and we're pretty much going to we can just copy and paste this uh, these two lines like that so this is kind of the general function that we call whenever we uh, equip or swap a weapon and this is what we call whenever we shoot 
let's go to our player HUD and implement this update MOUI. So I'll create a new public void for update uh, weapon MOUI. And inside I'll need to give it a int for current ammo and a int for stored ammo. Just like that. And all I have to say now is weapon UI that update ammo UI and inside again give it the current ammo from the um, from the uh, condition here and a uh, stored ammo from the condition as well. And now we can update them and we just have to call this function inside of our weapon shooting to update it. Let's go to weapon shooting and let's check if we have a reference to our player HUD, which we don't. So I'll just go ahead and say private player HUD, uh, HUD, and then I'll add it in there. Let's go down to our get references, which is called in our start method. We'll just say HUD equals get component and uh, we need to get the player HUD just like that. Now we have a reference to that. Uh, so we have a reference to our function and all I have to do now is just add them in here <clears throat> Below this else function we, we have where, where we set the actual ammo uh, We'll just say uh, HUD dot update uh, Weapon ammo UI and I want to add the update it with primary current ammo and primary uh, Current ammo storage just like that and then I can copy this and put it in the same place down here and just Instead of saying primary, I'll say secondary, and that should work fine. So hopefully you get the structure of this, kind of makes sense. If you think about it, uh, let's do the same thing for add ammo. So whenever we say primary current ammo storage, or whenever we, you know, add or add to it, uh, I just have to say HUD.update a weapon ammo UI, and then I'll give it the primary current ammo, and I'll give it the primary current ammo storage. Let's copy that again and just paste it into here. Oh, my bad. And I'll say secondary here, secondary, just like that. And that should now work with our UI. Let's check out how that works. Let's take our pistol out and let's start shooting. So you can see whenever I shoot, ammo goes down. If I reload, everything changes nicely. That's pretty much it for this episode, I think. Uh, finally works nicely. I think we'll need to get like an episode to fix things because some things are getting out of hand. For example, you can see how the AK is being held. Doesn't really make sense. So uh, yeah, we'll have to... Oh, okay, yeah, you can see how it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, but if you learn something new, uh, that's great. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Okay now, bye bye.